morning. I thought I'd show you what's going on in the garden right now. It's, it's sort of springtime here in Santa Cruz, although it rained this week, so if the ground looks wet, that's why. But I wanted to show you, um, I planted in my some of my tubers, and um, some of these were kind of mini clumps. These are my second year seedlings. So they pushed up multiple sprouts here, and you can see I probably have like five or six going here. And what I really recommend, if something like this happens to you, I recommend getting down to just two sprouts and kind of the two main ones, the strongest ones. But um, I learned from um, a member of my Dahlia Society that you can actually take um, sort of like cuttings or pulls from these if you want to increase your stock at this point too. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, this one looks pretty strong. This one's a little thinner here. So I'm gonna work my finger down all the way down to where the um, sprout meets the tuber. And then I'm gonna grab it as best as I can and sort of wiggle it loose like I would um, the tuber on in the cutting bed. So you can see I just wiggled this loose like this. It's got a nice long um, stem on it. I've got the little leaves here. I'm gonna remove those just like we did with the, with the cutting bed. Um, you could also remove these if you wanted to put those um, into the root riot or into whatever um, method you, you propagate with. When the, when the stems are this thick, you know, this is not pencil thick yet, but almost, I will take a pencil over here and kind of um, put it into the hole and ream this hole out a little bit bigger because the holes are made for maybe something this size. Um, and so uh, it's best to kind of ream it out a little if you want to get it, get it down in there. Um, I might dip it in root, rooting hormone, which you, you can do, and then just place it right into the root riot and push it as down far as I possibly can. You want to make sure you add the tag for the one that you're taking and um, so it works like that. So I'm gonna go through here and remove these. You don't have to have your, um, your like root riots here at the garden. You could just take a grouping like this and then bring them in and process them right away. I'm doing this on a very um, overcast day because um, I don't want um, these to start uh, falling apart or shriveling uh, right away. So it's best to do it in the evening or early in the morning. So now I'm gonna get this down to, to just two sprouts. So you can see I'm just keep removing, 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 and I'm gonna go down to two. And the reason I go down to two is if one of these didn't make it, um, then uh, I, would, I would have uh, a backup because I have removed quite a bit of the push here. So I guess I've gotten um, about six or seven extra extra um, cuttings or pulls from from this particular variety. So um, anyway, I just thought I'd, I'd talk to you about that. People have been asking me questions about it and um, that's it. Have a good day.